Let's go home and say it while we're at it. You get what you vote for. <laughs> you get what you vote for, y'all. Oh, man. Everybody is getting up out of New York. You know what I'm saying? Ah. I think this is the best. Uh, the, the, the pizza, the, which I'll say the bagels, the pizza rolls, the pizza puffs, the cheesecake, and this right here is. is Mr. Nico. Yo. What's up? How you doing? A little pound? Yeah, yeah. I'm in the middle of filming right now, though. <laughs> Beautiful. Now that is what people are going to New York for. <laughs> yeah. If you ain't doing that, then you might as well just go and get up out of there. Yeah, you might as well just go and get up out of there, boy. Man. Just go and get up out of there. Businesses in New York City are suddenly closing. get what you vote for but hey beautiful people my beautiful patriots i hope everybody is blessed well healthy and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life just staying to update seeing what's going on in old new york city we've been covering new york city for quite a long time and um just seeing all the corruptness nonsense that's going down with the trump case the chisha james i mean it, it, it's just been crazy you guys you know, we're doing a Chicago video next. I mean, it's... Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of nonsense going on, but let's check it out. I will leave the original link in the description box down below for you guys to check it out for yourself. And let's see what our brother from Market Games has, has pulled up out the bag um, uh, recently. Let's check it out. Closures is a serious blow to their economy. I mean, Brooklyn lost 50 chain stores in 2023, and like the worst time for them to lose stores is probably right now with the micro crisis going on, with the amount of people leaving. I mean, the city kind of is strapped for cash right now. And when you have one of your biggest boroughs losing so many stores, and we're not talking about the mom and pop store, guys. We're literally talking about chain stores. These guys have way more money than mom and pop stores. What about the smaller stores? Well, they basically got screwed over, right? So if you check out what's going on with Brooklyn, a lot of these chain stores are dropping. At first, you know, after the pandemic, a lot of people went all out to get New York City real estate and leases and rentals. But what about now? Seems like a bigger decline than this year was during the pandemic. And that is not something that you want to compare yourself to. So right now, New York City is getting a lot of these stores closing. You can blame one thing, rampant amounts of shoplifting. Look at this, Upper East Side CVS is set to close in May. This gets worse and worse and worse. It just get worse and worse and worse. I got to see. I got to sing it out, y'all. Y'all want to sing with me? It get worse and worse and worse. <laughs> you know? Criminals just walking around laughing. They laughing. They cracking jokes. Rolling dice. Yeah. Laughing. Having a good old laugh. Because nothing's being done. Good old laugh. We love you, Eric. Good job, brother. <laughs> That's what they saying. Where Joe at? Get t somebody tell Joe to get out that ice cream store. Put that ice cream cone down, Joe. <laughs> he in New York eating ice cream. Him and Obama fundraising. Unbelievable. What is going on? You know, and Trump's out of wake. Rest in peace. To Jonathan Dillers, man. Salute to our law enforcement, our, our first responders out there. Yes, indeed. Salute to our soldiers, man. Salute to our veterans. They had the, they had a fundraising event eating snow cones and ice cream cones. Unbelievable.
they're closing down a bunch of these CVS pharmacies. It's not because they're not getting business. It's because of the shoplifting. There's also a lot of really scary incidences at the CVS, like people breaking through windows, people getting hurt, and of course, employees getting threatened and harassed. Is this really a place that you wanna be? Probably not. And so many businesses are starting to notice this. I mean, even in Manhattan, you have this massive pre-pandemic comeback. And then after the pandemic, stores are like, hold on a second. Shoplifting is so high. We're seeing a bunch of brands getting robbed. I mean, the Lululemon store gets robbed once a week at this point. Gucci store gets robbed at gunpoint. Is this really a place for people to open businesses? And they walked out the store at the Gucci store with suitcases, y'all. They didn't, they wasn't running. They did it calmly. <laughs> oh, y'all seen it. You seen it live. You seen it. It's bad, man. It is bad, you guys. Not really. We're seeing many companies closing a lot of their physical stores in some of the biggest cities in the US because of rampant shoplifting. Let's be real. From San Francisco to Seattle to Chicago to New York City, shoplifting is so rampant in this country right now. There's only a few cities where they actually truly crack down on it. This is what happening in so many cities. A bunch of stores closing, many stores moving online. And as they move online, a lot of cities are losing out on this potential revenue. And not to mention, New York City already lost $200 million worth of sales tax revenue because of shoplifting. It's getting so bad, whole entire malls have shut down. You got a major city mall with 70 stores built for a billion bucks just 10 years ago. They're shutting down. They're blaming the theft epidemic. It's not unbelievable. Where's my sirens? I need my sirens, y'all. It's getting bad. It's getting bad, y'all. It's getting bad. No longer just some of the chain stores and some of the mom and pop stores and maybe the CVS's. Now we're talking about multi-billion dollar deals collapsing. And look at this. When you have a major mall closing down, this means something. It means that the city has truly failed. And cities typically have to do really bad for ultra big landlords to go bankrupt. So if you look at the Westfield Mall, they do really well in other cities. In fact, other cities, they have incredible amounts of occupancy and barely any vacant spots. But when you look into the Westfield Mall in New York City, they're closing down. Their tenants get robbed, get harassed. Employees get hurt, get threatened. Shoplifting is crazy. And then when they call like the MTA or like the city council or the NYPD, nothing's ever done. I mean, it's so lax. The shoplifting laws in New York City is draconian for many tenants. I mean, if you shoplift under $1,000 and if you get caught, it's just a misdemeanor. It's a desk appearance and that's it. And then when you look into if they shoplift over $1,000 and they get caught, it's also not that big of a deal either. So that's what we're seeing. And no wonder so many of these business owners are sick and tired of operating their businesses in New York City for a very good reason. Lastly, you also have the bridge toll tax. If you guys don't know, apparently now going from Jersey to Midtown Manhattan, you're gonna be paying an extra 15 bucks. 15 bucks. So kiss the businesses of Midtown Manhattan goodbye because <clears throat> some of those businesses do rely on a lot of customers coming in from Jersey. But if it's $15 every single time you wanna grab a bite to eat, is that even worth it anymore? And that's causing many people to feel very disconnected from the city. So now the city is basically going broke. They're spending billions of dollars on the market crisis with nothing to show for. And they're spending so much crazy amounts of money. Can New York City survive this year and next year and the year after that while spending billions on the micro crisis? I don't know anymore. Okay, New York City makes a large chunk of the money from real estate transactions, which many of it is going down the drain. The amount of sales is slowing. Real estate is just one part. They also make a lot of business and money from crazy high taxes which many of these fiscal stores, for example, are the ones paying. But when there's so many store closures and many of them moving online or going south, can New York City even make any more money at this point? Seems kind of worrisome right now. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. Just, uh, let's read the comments. You can't operate a business in a zoo. Bring in more illegal, oh man. So I wonder if being hell bent on crucifying Trump was worth losing your city over. Welcome to typical blue city. <laughs>
Oh man, let it be forever known as the great de departure. <laughs> you vote them and this is what you get. Oh boy, look at the comment section. Intentional by corrupt officials. Won't be surprised if they turn the, the mall into a shelter. <laughs> let me get out of here, man. Y'all drop a like, share the video. Join the family if you are new here. We're almost at 60,000 beautiful families around the world. Let's continue to keep growing, keep climbing, and again, spreading the love, the positivity, the good energy, because you never know what somebody's going through. Happy Easter, beautiful people, that you enjoy your weekend, and I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.